Hello guys, welcome back to the show, The Food Dude here. Today I'm gonna show you how to make your own homemade amazing toothpaste. Now why would you want to have your own homemade amazing toothpaste? Well, it's because unfortunately normal toothpaste or the regular kinds that you find in the supermarket are usually written with a bunch of chemicals that you really don't want to have in your body at all. So, for instance, I picked this one up today just for like demonstration purposes and right off the bat the first ingredient is uh, sodium fluoride. Basically the biggest problem is that it has been shown to build up in the body, the body has a hard time getting rid of it and usually it targets the brain function, so your pineal gland and in kids, developing kids, there is gonna be impaired with their learning abilities, their cognitive abilities, and you really don't wanna get into that. Like it's unnecessary. Fluoride is not a nutrient, has nothing to do in your body. And when you put a no nutrient in your body, you're basically giving your body more work to do. Because it has to get rid of it, it has to deal with the side effects, and you know, overall you, your body's already so busy keeping you alive and healthy that you really don't wanna add to the workload. Another nasty that you can find in this kind of toothpaste is triclosan, which is an antibacterial, but it has been linked as well to heart failure. So I don't think you want to take the chance. And then the next one would be all your artificial sweeteners, you know, to make these things taste all right. Uh, usually they use the nasty artificial sweeteners like saccharin which this one has or aspartame and all those that I have spoken in other videos as well which really you don't want to have in your bodies. Uh, laurel sulfate which is very common and that's really just to make it foamy. Make it foamy but it has been linked to uh, mouth sores and digestive tract problems so why bother? Why risk it? So basically we're not gonna use this one today or ever again and, but even the good ones, even the good ones that you can find in many of the health food stores are guilty of the same. Sometimes they have the laurel sulfate, you know, to make it foamy. And sometimes I've seen some with uh, sucralose, which is your Splenda, which I also made a video about because that has a reputation of being less nasty than saccharin, but still, you, you really don't want to have that stuff in your body. It's a neurotoxin. And so, I am going to repeat the phrase that has probably done me the most impact in my research and the years I've been putting into health and natural medicine and all these things. And it goes like this. It really, it really is important that you read your labels, okay? If you find all these ingredients, you might as well steer, steer clear from them. Anyway, today, just to be able to have an amazing homemade toothpaste, I have gathered the ingredients that we're going to use today. It's so easy, so easy and also very cheap. Because especially the ones that you buy in organic health food stores, those toothpaste are very expensive. Uh, some of them are really good. I'm not bashing all of them. Some of them are really good. I'm just saying that you can have something of great quality, perhaps even better than whatever you can find in a health food store, and for a fraction of the price. If you Google and internet and YouTube and all that, you might find other recipes. So I think pretty much all of them have the same basic ingredients, which are your coconut oil, my good old friend, and your baking soda. All right. Uh, I'm going to use today stevia in the powder form, but some people use as well xylitol, which is also a great idea because xylitol, like I've spoken in previous videos, is good for your teeth. But today I'm going to use stevia because it's what I could find easily today. I have uh, peppermint essential oil, but you can use cinnamon essential oil, you can use myrrh, depends on your particular uh, taste and palate. So I find peppermint, I like it because it refreshes my breath and I just love it. Okay, so we're gonna get to it. The recipe goes like this. We're gonna use half a cup of your coconut oil 
And as you can see, mine is half solid and half liquid. Remember that your coconut oil is a solid, uh, it's a saturated fat. So it's gonna be solid at room temperature. And room temperature, I mean about 24 degrees. Your, if, you, if it gets hotter than that, and that's Celsius, 24 degrees Celsius or 70 Fahrenheit, any hotter than that is gonna get liquid, which is still fine, no worries. So if you keep this one in the, near the stove or in your kitchen, it's likely that it's gonna be always liquid. If you keep it in your bathroom, for instance, it might be solid, depends on where you live. But as I say, it doesn't really matter. So today I'm gonna be working with liquid uh, coconut oil. And I have also made a video about coconut oil and all the amazing uses that it has in the past. But back then, because this was like five, six years ago that I made that one, I didn't mention oil pulling. And oil pulling is also very important for your mouth and oral hygiene. And remember that your oral hygiene and your uh, health, your mouth health is linked to longevity. So people who have really good teeth or take care of them, they usually live longer lives. And uh, oil pulling, uh, I'm gonna go quickly into it before we go into the, um, the toothpaste. Basically what, what I do is I dip one tablespoon of your coconut oil and then I just switch it around. And I usually do this do this before I jump into the shower. And then while I'm showering, I'm just kind of like swishing it around, making sure that it goes in between the teeth and everywhere. And then 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on how long you, you want to have it in your mouth, and then you just spit it out. What happens is that because the antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal properties that coconut oil has, it's gonna be cleaning your mouth. It's gonna be getting rid of all the bad bacteria while still leaving behind all the good bacteria that you need to have in your mouth. That's gonna keep your teeth healthy and happy. Okay, so now, now that you have, I already measured half a cup of coconut oil. So I'm just gonna put it in this dish. All right, and now the baking soda has been known for many decades to have great properties that's gonna not only whiten your teeth, but it's gonna keep them uh, sterile. It's gonna make sure that no nasty bacteria are gonna be growing in there. So I'm gonna put three uh, tablespoons of it. The only thing is that it's really salty, and that's something that you might find when you make your own toothpaste compared to the ones that you buy. Uh, the taste might not be as great because it's gonna be kinda salty. So to remedy that, I mean, if you if you don't mind that, you can use it just like that, and then just add the essential oil. But if you wanna, you know, not to suffer too much, I'm gonna add today a couple of packets of stevia. And remember, this could this could be also xylitol. And finally, I'm gonna use about 20 drops of your essential oil. You do it, you know, the first time you do it. It will be fine, I think, because it's, there's really not much science behind it. But if you find that something is off or like the consistency is not right, feel free to play with the ratios, okay? Now I'm just gonna stir and play the waiting game. All right, I think I got it. So you see it's a little bit liquid, but that's because I applied heat by moving it so the oil gets really soft. If I put it in a jar, which is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in a jar, and then I'm gonna leave it in my toilet sink, and it's gonna get more solid. There you go. And this is gonna last you for a long time right there. Look at that. Easy. All right. Well, now you're gonna have your natural, amazing, homemade toothpaste and your mouthwash as well. All right, let's give it a go. Or I think I really nailed it. It's really good. I might add a little bit more of uh, peppermint oil just to make it more minty next time. But other than that, it's awesome. It's not as salty as I thought it would be. Okay, guys, well, feel free to share your results with me. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any other suggestions or your own recipe, also feel free to share with me. And I'll be here for you next time. Now, here is to your beautiful smile. Smile more, people.